Hey guys, welcome to this video on proofs. So in this video, we want to prove that an even number plus an odd number is always equal to an odd number or always equals an odd number. So in the yellow rectangle here, I have the definition for what it means for a number to be even and I have the definition of what it means for a number to be odd. All right, so uh, the definition of an even number is an integer value that gives a remainder of zero when divided by two. So for example, two times n, where n is some arbitrary integer value, um, this would give us a remainder of zero when it is divided by two. All right, so now let's take a look at the definition of what it means for a number to be odd. And an odd number is an integer that gives a remainder of 1 when it's divided by 2. So for example, an odd number is 2 times m plus or minus 1, where m is some arbitrary integer value. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a few examples. I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. Now, an example of an even number plus an odd number um, could be 6 plus 3. So 6 is an even number and 3 is an odd number and we get an odd number, the odd number 9. Alright, so let's take another example. Maybe we'll do 4 plus 7. So 4 is an even number, 7 is an odd number and we get 11. So 11 is an odd number. All right, so everything seems to be true so far with these few examples. Let's do one more example. We'll do 100 plus, um, let's do 5. And we get 105. And 105 is an odd number as well. So uh, it's looking promising uh, for the statement here that an even number plus an odd number is always equal to an odd number. All right, so um, let's try our proof. So we said an even number, I'm gonna just say even for even number, plus an odd number, I'm just gonna put odd uh, for odd number here, equals, I'm gonna put a question mark, you know, does it equal an odd number? And so let's uh, rewrite this now using uh, the definitions here. So an even number can be 2 times n plus an odd number. We said an odd number is 2 times m plus 1 or 2 times m minus 1. So what that means, of course, is that when we have 2m plus 1 and we divide it by 2, we get a remainder of 1. If we have 2 times m minus 1 and we divide it by 2, we get a remainder of 1 as well. So we could use either or. So I'm going to use 2 times m plus 1. And we should get an odd number. Here I'm just going to put 2 times um, k. So k will be uh, some arbitrary integer value. So it'll be 2 times k plus or minus 1. All right. So um, this is what we want to get here given this here. So let's uh, go ahead and get rid of uh, the right hand side. And let's see if we can derive the left hand side to make it look like what we want on the right hand side. So we can factor out the two. So we get two times n plus m plus one. And if we let uh, k equal n plus m, then we get 2 times k plus 1, uh, which is, of course, just 2k plus 1. And that is an odd number. Okay? So, thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos 
and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And also, if you found this video helpful, please share it uh, so that others can also see it and uh, hopefully it can help them as well. So as always, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.